Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. What you're seeing here now is the Resolutions skin for the Calliope Sherman. And it is foliage attached to your Sherman as you can see. I'm also going to show you the Resolutions bonus camo and the what we what we're calling the resolutions participation camo so as you can see it says phantom barrage on the side of this sherman so it's pretty cool looking let's pull back and we we know this would be really awesome if you're on a map like Thiepfall ridge it has a lot of foliage and you know any other comparable map now I think it might look a little goofy out on the Arctic maps or on the desert so I don't know if there's anything special going on there but you know we'll see I guess whatever so this is what I want to show you and it would be helpful if you could leave a like for this video to help spread the word. So now let's go check around and look at some of these other camos. All right, this is the purple. Now, this is really interesting because this purple camo is kind of good. And one of the things that you will see is that it changes a little bit from tank to tank. There are other tanks where it's uh, more muted in the colors and it's not as vibrant as you see here. You know, this camo looked pretty good. We used this on multiple different tanks to check those out. The thing that, you know, I did myself, you know, I was talking to Brownie, was that, you know, I look at my camos first on my... Cold War tanks and then also you know tier 10s if there's any that need any because those are 250 a pop for each one that you want a camo so if you're gonna put camo on a lower tiered tank you don't want to put a free camo on there because those sometimes are you know 50 or 75 gold per season where the top ones are 250 each so you know, you put four seasons on a Cold War tank, that's a thousand gold if you're paying full price, which I never do. So I'm just giving you the heads up on that. So, if you know, whatever floats your boat, but you might want to be a little judicious about spending gold, what have you, for camos. Now, let's go check out this purple camo on some other tanks this is a 38h with the purple camo not horrible it's better on some less you know good on others this is one that i saw and i thought that this purple looked really the best on this tank here this is a t44 cold war arrow one starter tank and it's kind of muted in the colors so it doesn't really stand out as this kind of purple people eater this one wouldn't be bad for a tank like this just wanted to give you a heads up so you can check this out for yourself I'm going to show you a comparison this is my Astron Rex with the Arnie Mania camo and the distortion that it gets from the turret because of the turret being kind of bulbous and teardrop shaped is kind of interesting. Let's see how this looks with the purple. So there is the same position. Again, you get a little muted effect here. It's not as vicious. It doesn't look as bubble gum. Some of the other tanks will make this color scheme look more bubble gum than others. So this is just to give you an idea. This one here is a Cold War WZ-122. 
this is the rocket tank and this is using the resolutions gray camo and this looks pretty darn good on just about every tank it looks basically about the same as this across the board so a real solid you know military style coloring rather than the purple a lot of people like myself don't like to use the purple or these kind of garish colors that are not military or military-esque but this one does look like a military style camo so it just doesn't like glow in the dark because you know cold war you have true sight so this is the reason why i wanted to show you this was the only tank that i put this camo on you get three sets of these so i'm holding it in reserve for future cold war tanks that might you know need a camo i don't put multiple camo sets on one tank as a general rule and then switch between them willy-nilly that's just me so i wanted to show you these just give you a quickie look at these different camos and you know how you could use them and consideration now this was one that brownie sent me a picture because I don't have this tank. This is the AMX 32 with the gray resolutions camo. He thought it was pretty awesome. Kind of speaks for itself when you check it out. So there's another one I'm going to show you. This is the Thumper. And this is the rabbit uh, skin for the Thumper. Which is pretty cool, but you know, that's a 3,000 gold purchase if you want to get this for a thumper if you have the thumper. However, Brownie sent me the thumper with a purple skin so you could check it out. So, as you can see, the thumper looks pretty good with this purple. It's not, again, it's not super vibrant, not as muted as the 44, kind of like in between. But it's pretty solid, something to, you know, look at. And I wanted to show you, you know, the more expensive version rather than if you have this camo and you like it, then there's a good option for you there. So if it was, if I were you, I'd experiment with whatever tanks that I needed camo on, see what you got. Everybody's selection is going to be different. But if you were, if you got all six seasons completed from resolutions from last year you should have the purple camouflage so this is the main thing that i wanted to show you guys with the resolutions camos that doesn't you know jump in the way of whatever and make the video super long so i hope that you enjoyed checking this out maybe this will help you please leave a like for the video Tell your friends that way they can, you know, do the same thing and then they'll have a chance to like and subscribe on their own. So I have many more videos to make today. I will be back hopefully pretty soon from your perspective with another killer video. Thanks again for watching and I'm out of here.